Hello Stellars! Welcome back to Tartala. My name is Joyce. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome! We're going to have a reading for Cancer for the month of January 2022. So, Happy New Year to all of you guys. These are general readings, so this may or may not resonate with everyone. But if you need personal reading, you can check my Etsy shop down in the description box. And um, you can message me on email, Facebook page, okay? Tartala Official. All my social medias are just right below the description box if you need personal readings. Okay, Spirit, please give us a message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you don't know your Moon or Venus, check your natal chart so that you can, um, you know, check the other videos if that is related to your Moon sign or Venus signs, all right? Oh, promise. Okay, all dreams are possible with this love. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's a good sign for you guys. Yep, it's a great sign. Promise. Hmm. Happily ever after. So there's a word happily ever after here. I'm not sure if if it's visible in the screen. <laughs> All right. So a lot of you are thinking about committing with this person. There's a possibility that they will propose to you or something like that. Yep. Or there will be um, an engagement that will happen. Spirit, please give us a message. I mean, proposal or uh, engagement event, you know, not a proposal, but really like an engagement occasion. You're going to celebrate your engagement or whatnot. Maybe some of you already, pro the person in your mind is, you know, someone that you'd like to propose to. Something like that. It's like, um,. Another level of your relationship. It's like a higher ascending level in your relationship. Like you really want to commit with this person. It's very possible that it will happen pretty soon. <laughs> Maybe within January. Okay. Path to love, purpose, compass, and choice. So some of you um, are going to have a major decision when it terms in terms of relationship, in terms of, um, you know, thinking about this in a matter of, a, you know, in a matter of time, in a short span of time, rather, but you are thinking, am I in the right direction for some of you, Cancer? You're looking for the right direction of this relationship. You're making choices here. Or it could be your person is making choices, but I'm seeing that Cancer, you're thinking about, you know, the direction, where is this leading to us? You know, you're looking for some signs and signals in this relationship. Where is this going? You're promising me this kind of relationship, this, you're promising me the paradise that you told me a long time ago, but where is it right now? And for some of you are choosing a different path in this relationship. Maybe um, I have a feeling that for some of you are tired of the possibilities that their promise will, you know, come through or whatnot. But for some of you are still are still hopeful that you know this will lead to marriage or an engagement or a marriage proposal or something like that. Okay, so. That's what I'm getting here in the oracle. Let's put this aside here. Okay, so I'm going to read now for your tarot. Okay, Spirit, please give us the message for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What's going on for Cancer? Okay, I'm going to pick three cards. Oops, what's this? The Fool, okay. 
and Queen of Swords. Okay, and we have Eight of Swords. All right, <laughs> I see. Um, for some of you, there's a there's a greater chance that you want to take a risk in this in this relationship. For some of you, okay, you want to take a risk. Um, and for some of you, you want to uh, go in an adventure, go in a different direction, something new. Yep, something new in here with the fool because this is start of the tarot, and there's a possibility that um, you will acknowledge your inner power here with the queen of swords your inner power is your mental you know mentality it's like your will to go to a different direction is very strong there's no there's no impediment you know there's no um confusion you're pretty clear in what you really want in here cancer and with the eight of swords for some of you it could be coming from your person's perspective with the eight of swords um you may be dealing with Aquarius Gemini Libra here um I have a feeling that someone here in this connection is like they are trapped in in a you know stereotype stereotype of stereotype of um divorce or failure in your relationship you know they are trapped in their minds they are not really thinking so clear in here like somebody is inhibiting their you know a chance to be committed or whatnot but i have a feeling that this is a contrasting energy it's like the queen of swords and eight of swords the queen of swords is very you know straightforward clear in the mind um she knows what she really what she really wants and she's gonna get what she wants and whatever that is but the other person here is trapping the mind you know they're not getting what they really want or they don't think that they deserve what they want in this relationship so um something is stopping them you know it could be the negative energy it could be fear okay it could be insecurity it could be incapa incapacity to love or they think that they're inadequate to love or you know to make you happy in a way hmm all right so let's go oops <laughs> we have this lots of cards just dropped okay just shuffle that once again and we have here the ten of pentacles okay and the five of swords okay i see now okay huh there is a financial factor here in your relationship that is really affecting your decision and that's because there's a five of swords maybe there's a war in the mind and the heart in here and the priority is changing and that's the reason why the other person is not saying yes to this opportunity of love or you know to go to another level of this connection already or a relationship already has been established but um the other person is really want this so bad they know what they really want from here they want the ten of pentacles they want to form a great relationship here but someone is someone is having a you know a stronger responsibility other than the relationship itself i'm seeing it with the ten of pentacles there could be some depths involved in here financial debts or whatnot okay let's go to your channel messages your channel messages 
could be your child message for your person or your person's child messages for you. So it depends on how you're going to take it. And I'm going to read all the cards that we're going to drop. That are going to drop in here. Oh, there. I feel burdened by all these expectations of me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for the silence. You are my queen. You're going to have this new beginning. The new beginning is right here. The full. Okay? That is the new beginning. We are going to have this new beginning. Um... Oops. <laughs> I have made my decision. I'm choosing love. So that is the Queen of Swords energy here. Okay? Very straightforward. She knows what she knows what she wants in this relationship. Okay, and I'm so proud of you and what you have done. Okay. So let's go to the divine timings, guys. This is your time frame. It could be it, could be not, so Depends on you. <clears throat> Take whatever that looks or seemingly significant in your life. Okay? Again, I'm going to read the cards that will drop in the table on the table. Okay. One more. Okay, there. Let's see. We have August. It could be somebody that is, you know, having birthdays in August. February. I feel like your person is Aquarius or Pisces. Take action now. Mm -hmm. Today. Today, today, today. Between 11 and 20. That could be a birthday. Two months from now. And more patience is needed here. See? Alright, so this is your reading, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you next time. And love and light. Namaste.